what are you doing? Are you taking my picture? I'm focusing. I'm trying to see what you look like. You look like a pretty comfortable, relaxed guy. <laughs> sort of like Gandhi. You know when Gandhi was real laid back? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know when he was sitting, he was sitting in his white robe and kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> Mahatma G. They have, uh, at the library, they have Gandhi. And so there's a lot of incidents, I mean, the history of India, if you read the history. Oh, yeah. You know, you see all these uh, high points, high points, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but the like the Fort March is a high point, mm -hmm. you know, where he goes into the sea, he, he walks I don't know, 10,000 miles or something, I'm mean, across the breadth of India, mm -hmm. and as a whole gathering of people, as he, you know, as people know that he's walking, everybody joins him mm -hmm. to walk with him, you know, and gets to the sea, he goes into the sea and makes salt, and that's against the law. Oh, is that right? You didn't know that. No, no. Yes, that is a, a, a direct mm -hmm. blow on the British thing. That's oh. why he does that. Oh. See, I didn't know that. Yes, no, didn't and know. immediately they come and get the get him arrested, you know, <laughs> you know, throw him in jail, you know. <laughs> yeah, because salt. Anybody, what he's saying is anybody can use salt. It's a sea salt. Mm -hmm. People can live, but they tax the salt. Uh, oh, okay. You know, and they, you know, only the British government could mm -hmm. make salt. You know. Uh, I'd kind of forgotten about that. Or so those forgot. are the high points. Like his main main objective was to help the farmers to get the local farming going. Yeah, and the farmers were very poor, and uh, the eighty to eighty five percent of Indians at the time were farmers. It's an agrarian culture, mm -hmm. you know, because that's because the British drove these people into that kind of a culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so there you go. You know, he, he, you know, you know, Bobby, you know, joins with Gandhi, and they, they have another march. You know, uh, you know, and then people, you know, write their lands out. You know, so much land, I'm giving as donation. Mm -hmm. You know, to the movement. Mm. All kinds of stuff happened. It's amazing. A lot of people. I mean, everybody was. That, that was Indian, real patriotic Indian, contributed to that cause, mm -hmm. you know, of uh, independence. It's not easy. And then there was the opposition for the independence, because people that are well-to-do and, you know, we've had a lot of things, but they were keeping tags with the British, and also mm -hmm. the Maharajas, they were citing the British, see? So the opposition there. Amazing. So all of this happened, mm. you know. Uh, so, like, see in Scotland what was going on. You know, the the rich landlords sided with the British, and that's why they couldn't get the independence mm. all these years. You know, because British have their ways of doing stuff. They mm. know how they. It's in their in their, in their blood. To do that, you know. They were shrewd. Shrewd. Yeah. Shrewd. Yeah. So, uh, so Gandhi had to fight all those things. And, but he, as I say, he was a very imbalanced, imbalanced man. You know, like the caste system, for instance, the children of God, Harijans, you know, the untouchables, the Harijans, and you know. <clears throat> but uh, when uh, a Harijan leader said, let's, let's cut all the Harijans, you know, the untouchable people from the Hindu caste system, I mean, I mean, from Hinduism itself, you know, why should we be following a religion that doesn't allow you to go to their temple? Because you're untouchable. Yes. So, cut. Let's do our own thing. There's like th 300 million people there, you know? Yeah, let them, let us be what 
we want to do what you know Gandhi opposed that he did yes vehemently opposed it I didn't know that see that's imbalanced guy hmm. he said no they belong to the Hindu culture they cannot be independent And at the same time, you know, he was showing people uh, how to be untouchable, like uh, going like you know the the, uh, the big shots in the Congress didn't didn't want to do this and do I mean the dirty jobs, you know, scavenger type of jobs of collecting shit from the you know railway lines and egos. You see that mm-hmm. that scene. And he said, no, I am going to do it. And he did it. Mm-hmm. He collected shit. You know, put it in the bags and, you know, to, you know, uh, to clean up. So those things he will do, you know. At the same time, he, he acts crazy. <laughs> like, he, you know, he went to see the, the, the king, uh, you know, in, in, in Great Britain <laughs> with no clothes on. <laughs> Nobody has ever done that in the history of the world. <coughs> they have protocols. Mm-hmm. Protocols in going into the palace. Mm-hmm. Even if you go to the palace in Trivandrum, you just can't waltz in there. There's a lot of protocols. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to know etiquette. What palace etiquette? You didn't give it in. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I mean, he, he's educated, you know, one time, he, you know, he was, he was a lawyer. Mm-hmm. He was a practicing lawyer, very good lawyer. And he didn't possess anything. No. No, I saw a picture of everything after he died. They had Nothing. A, they had stuff. He had a spinning wheel, a pair of uh, spectacles, a pair of spectacles. Okay. And uh, club the the walking stick, a walking stick, and maybe chapels. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that's it. That's it. A Bible. A Bible. Yeah. He had a Bible. And Jesus' picture. Mm. How do we know it's Jesus' picture? Yeah, he had a Jesus' picture. But how do we know it's Jesus' real picture? No, I mean the. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The uh, what we be, we see. We all know as Jesus. A uh, blonde haired white uh, who, who cares who when he's black or what? Doesn't matter. Well, yeah. if I was black, I might. Hmm? <laughs> you think so, black people? Well, yeah, I think a lot of people say, why do you got this pasty faced, blonde headed um, uh, Caucasian? Come on. <laughs> Jesus was a long way from long that. Long way from that, yeah. yeah. He was <clears throat> dark, Mediterranean. Uh-huh. Curly hair, that's what Cameron said. Curly like black people, kinky. Huh. That is what I mean. This is what confuses me. You know, he's Jewish. I mean, of course, there's oh, yeah. black Jews and white Jews. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But in the in that area, you know, uh, <coughs> I don't know. But most of the things that I see, mm-hmm. the Jewish people are, you know, white. Uh, even when you look at it and look into uh, ancient, you know, Egyptian times and all that, you know, I mean, uh, because there are, you know, pictures. And just imagine a black Jesus on the cross. Very different from what everybody thinks in this country. Yeah. Very different. You must read that book and tell me what you okay. think about it. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. James Cameron's. I will find out the title. What time is it? Ooh, three, about 3.10. I, be, I better go. Okay. So you think you're going to come?